Yeah. Oh, man, have to be. This is, you know, sometimes you work, and you work, and you work, you work, and sometimes you, you sometimes you might, you know, you get lost in the work and forget why you work in the first place. Mm, but mm. This, this is one of those type of jobs that is constant reward. Every single day we wake up. What's the first thing I say, Tracy? You say, thank God I took my first breath. There it is, right? Every single day. We share that with the uh, with the citizens. The big point of this, of doing radio, is so you can influence, you can direct, you can inform, you can entertain, you can do all those things. Those are the basic fundamentals of radio. But when you can learn at the same time and you walk away, you feel like you just had a big meal and it's sticking to your ribs, that happens for me. Mm-hmm. And that usually happens when I have artists that are tremendous people that I respect and that I respect their art. And uh, our next guest, last time we really sat down and talked, it was from this phenomenal um, project he put together with Nas called Distant Relatives. That's right. And we, 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 we had a chance to, that, that was, we've seen, we've crossed paths and see each other often. And it was always respect. But that was the time we got to really take a deep dive and we had a lot of people on that panel discussion um that talked about um bridging um the gap between genres between culture between land between music between people big youth was on that panel discussion rakim was on that panel Ooh. discussion oh man it was crazy <laughs> um Nas was on that panel discussion Fire. um um uh, damian marley was on that pa- panel discussion brother steven was on that yeah, panel discussion yeah. as well yeah, man. we had a lot of folks and we really had a great conversation and since then junior gong hasn't put out a solo project <laughs> <laughs> and that no. was back in 2005 <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I, I felt, you know, I feel like he left me hanging. <laughs> and, and now he's back um, with his new project. It's called Stony Hill, and he's here with us today, Damian Marley, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. I felt like you took the whole distant relative <laughs> concept way too far yeah. after that, man. You know, I t- <laughs> too literally. The distance got more. <laughs> got more yeah. after that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how you been? Yeah, man, been good, man. Thank good to you. See you been man. Good. Give thanks. It was a, uh, uh, you know, I'm a big fan, you know, big, big supporter of you, your family, the movement, yes. you know, and um, I got a chance to uh, come down and, and co-host uh, Kaya Fest. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And, man, honestly, I, Man, I would have paid y'all to do it. <laughs> it easy. You know? yeah, no, no, really. Y'all have fun. Yeah, y'all have fun, and I and I like the energy. And and that was the first time I saw all the brothers. That was the first time I saw live all you guys come out Together. on stage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's been a while since we've done that. Since you've done that, yeah. What does that feel like? You're the youngest, right? Are you the youngest? Of the brothers, yeah. Of the brothers, yeah, right? Man. Yeah. yeah. What, what is it still special? Of course, happens? always. I mean. You know, I grew up watching my bigger brothers perform on stage, so I, I mean, I've been a fan of their music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's a big way of my of my introduction to live performances and learning from them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's still always a joy to perform with them together. You know? Yeah. yeah. He, my brother, um, I got a big brother too, and and we do everything together. We used to sleep in the same room. We used to share the same bed. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to working together, because he's my older brother, I really don't have the say so. That I would like to have. Yeah, see him. <laughs> so, see him, see him. You know where I'm going with this. Of course, yeah. what, 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 <laughs> who, who has the, the, the overall? I know everybody has an opinion, but when it comes to like putting a show together, what songs you're going to do? or Well, usually, if you see, over the years, Stephen has always been that brother who kind of is the, the hub. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even from when we were kids, he would be the one who would like come pick you up the most regularly from school or this kind of thing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm still kind of play that, that, that role as, as that central organizer, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, amongst the brothers. Okay, all yeah. right. My brother is a great uncle. It's, it's, it gives me relief when my brother's around my daughter, who's 18 years old, and I like to even watch him, you know, just mm-hmm. see how she reacts to him because he's the closest thing to me that she has. How are you as an uncle? You guys got a lot of kids. It's a lot. Of, it's a big family. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's a lot of beautiful kids. And this is just from my experience at Kaya Fest. What's it like being an uncle, man? Yeah, I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, as you know, um, as you know, like I said before, I'm the younger one. Mm-hmm. So a lot of my nephews are even kind of like close to my age. Mm-hmm. I have a nephew who is the same amount of years younger than me than that Ziggy is older than I am. 
You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. so you know, so we kind of, you know, so, but it's, it's really cool and all of them look up to me in that kind of way as the younger uncle where them know them can come speak to about certain mm-hmm. things and, you know, free up with and, you know, so okay. it's cool. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Uh, Junior Gong is here. You know, I didn't ask for permission, but when I was hosting Heather, mm-hmm. at, at one point I changed my name, at least for that day. I became Sway Marley. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, this is true. Yeah. <laughs> you just did it? Yeah. <laughs> you just did it, man. I didn't want to deliberate with Steven. He probably would have put me through a test or right. something. You know what I mean? I was like, no, nah, I'm going out on stage and I'm saying it. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then they saluted me and then a bunch of women just lined up, tried to get my phone number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it worked, right. you know. Uh, man, I want to open up the phone lines, but I want to uh, talk about this new project. I got a chance to hear at Stony Hill. What what you you you've done other projects, you know? Uh, but what took so long to do this solo project? Was it what 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 stopped it from happening? Well, I mean, the last solo project was two thousand five with Welcome yeah. to Jamrock, yeah. And then we did the Nas project, you mm-hmm. know, in between. I also worked on an album with um, Super Heavy, right? Super Heavy, with a host yeah. of other great musicians. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been doing a lot of production also. I did, you know, we produced some compilation albums uh-huh. on behalf of our family label. I did some work with Wayne Marshall. I did an album for him. So I've been doing some work, just not necessarily on my solo album, uh-huh. you know, uh-huh. for the last few years. So 12 years, you, you, you're you a different person now. Yeah. You know, what, how on this album, you speak on a lot, but what is it that you're seeing different? How have you evolved as an artist, you think? Well, I'm a father now. Okay. There's a big difference, mm-hmm. you know, in, in, between then and now. And that kind of really changes your perspective. Or I should say, grows your perspective on life. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? In that kind of way, you know. Um, and just the natural growth that comes along with 12 years. You mm-hmm. know, you're more mature as a person. You yeah. experience a lot more of life and everything that goes along with it, you know. How do you adjust to also what's changed is, you know, the... Social media, you know, uh, the the infrastructure, of yeah, the music I'm, business. And, yeah, I'm I'm getting I'm picking up speed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. You know? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. something I was I've been speaking about this. You know, when when I started doing music, if somebody was a fan that wanted a picture, they would have to walk with a camera. Mm-hmm. If it's even one of the little cardboard cameras, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, nowadays, you know, you know, as soon as somebody, if they don't even have to be a fan, if they just realize okay you're someone popular mm-hmm. bam you know, and everything is on the phone now the cameras are on the phone so it's a different level of um you know accessibility mm-hmm. and you know level of invasion of privacy and all this <laughs> stuff too, you know <laughs> but that's uh, the world now you know so i'm picking up speed when, when i said i was sway marley mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I i got about five to eight just really explicit, you know, DMs in my Twitter and in and, and, and my Instagram. Just, oh, you boy. Know, women sending me pictures the whole night. <laughs> and, 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 you know what I mean, man? Oh. And then I'm not even a real Marley, you know, so. <laughs> Joke, I, know. I, go, yeah. <laughs> I go only imagine <laughs> what kind of d- DMs you get in your social media. Do you get a lot of a lot of that? Uh... If you tell you the truth, you know, I don't... Um, I don't monitor my social media so okay. closely like that. Okay. Honestly. Tell you the truth, so I would have to look. You would have. <laughs> I, I would have to go check it out. If you want me to uh, look for you, yeah. on your behalf, uh, yeah. I could definitely be that filter for you. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Um, couple of tracks that's um that I want to ask you about. Um, speak life. Yeah. Talk about speak life, and that that title alone appealed to me. But talk about the song. Well, it's the title in itself is talking about speaking about. Again, life in uh-huh. terms of um, you know, positivity. You know, uh-huh. what I mean, we have a lot of, we speak only for death. Uh-huh. You know, our music. You know, a lot of violence. Um, you know, a lot of hurtful things sometimes. You know, what I mean, so this is kind of talking about you know, bring the light, shine some light instead of you know, always trying to find darkness. You know, what I mean. Uh-huh. So that's kind of what this song is really about in in that sense. You know. Okay. Um, I was telling a friend of mine this morning that um, he's going through some things and. I told him what he's going through is similar to something I've been through. And I told him, uh, when you approach it, it may sound cliche, but try to see your situation with the glass half full because mm. uh, positivity takes effort, yeah. you know, you know, and, and that's what you're asking, like, make that effort to be positive. Uh, of like, course. And and and, um, and even some of them songs that sometimes is like even speaking on behalf of um, our genre yeah. to, you know, of, of reggae music is kind of trying to remind even some of my brothers and sisters in our genre that, you know, we, we kind of have a little responsibility as reggae music, what we're known for. Mm-hmm. We're known for promoting 
positive energy mm-hmm. and sometimes we kind of miss that mark you know what i mean mm-hmm. so that it's again it's kind of a reminder for even us who have a vice to voice positive things yes you know it's not a judgment just a reminder, a reminder. Yeah. okay yeah. damian marley 888-742-3345 It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.